How are you, Reflection? And so, knowing thyself, know thyself. There's this, there's this concept we've, we've collectively participated in, right? Where, where we try to figure thyself, thyself out. And you know, it's a really funny game that we play with ourselves as consciousness, as as the fine, as the infinite mind playing finite versions of, of the self, right? The self, the eternal, the eternal being is the eternal now, right? It's eternal now, and so you might want to relax, bro. And so you know, um, we, we create these illusions, right, of trying to figure ourselves out. Okay, knowing thyself. When you know thyself, you got it figured out. You got it figured out the moment that you know thyself. When you when you know thyself, you you've reached that goal. You've reached perfection. You're the ultimate. You're the ultimate one. Once you know thyself, okay. And I believe it's a very very um funny experience that we create for ourselves. You know, there's no right or wrong, good or bad, best or worse. There's just just it's it's just you get me it just is and so you know um <laughs> what is what is knowing thyself to know thyself you have to be completely unaware of self right you have to figure yourself out you have to learn about yourself right but there's really no figuring self out if self is infinite if self is just eternal being in this the eternal now there's never a real you know beyond you know outside of the illusion of trying to know thyself right there's no real figuring thyself out because you can never figure out eternal being in this you get me you can just be you feel me and so once you try to figure thyself out you try to learn thyself you take the eternal now you take wholeness and you split it in fragments okay you split it in fragments and your mind literally bends reality to create these illusions of of you the whole self the eternal being is being separate being and create these timelines you create these timelines of of past present and future okay and you try to literally learn, you feel me, about pure beingness. But you you always go into this infinite regress, this loop of, of never, ever, ever ending information because you literally make up eternalness, okay? And so when it's like... You know, we've watched the movies like The Matrix and it was this big thing going on where it was like, we need to figure thyself out, you need to know thyself. But once you really know thyself, then you know there was never anything to know. There was just always beingness. And you truly knew yourself when you when you didn't need to. You were just being, you were just present, you know? Because you were bounding yourself to these, these um, illusions, right? You were bounding yourself, you make yourself worried. You're scrambling your, your own reality and um, you know, by by creating a a timeline, by creating you know fragments of self, right? But that's what we do. We do these things, right? We do these things because this is what the Creator, the Infinite Mind, does. You know, it it it's infinite. You feel me? And so it has to create these finite versions of itself to to be able to experience itself, right? And so it creates these these limited aspects of, of itself because they have to be limited in order to experience itself, right? Because once it's whole, it's it's like this infinite child, right? And it's bored if it if it knows itself completely, and so it has to create these infinite, I mean, these finite consciousness awareness that has to be unaware of themselves and and give them experiences of self. You feel me? That 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 makes them unaware, and they have to go on a journey to figure themselves out in order to become whole again but they realize that 
they were already whole, you know? And then that's when that 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 expansion of consciousness comes back and it con it contracts and it becomes whole again. Okay? And then it goes until it, it, it sits for a while and says, wait, let's let's be whole, let's feel this wholeness, let's sit in peace, let's sit in pure bliss for a while before we go and, and we 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 expand again and we separate again, right? And we create these illusions of self to experience myself again. Because these separations, these separations made me feel, made me feel lost. Feel me, made me feel like I was, I was, I wasn't getting anywhere because I couldn't really ever truly know myself. I have to limit myself in order to know myself. But if I limit myself, if I create a limitation of the self that's not truly myself, that's just an illusion of myself. And I, I try to experience that and say, okay, I know myself now, you know? But you truly can never truly know yourself. And once you try to know yourself, you try to learn yourself. And when you try to learn yourself, you can't be, you can't just be yourself, you know? Because knowing yourself is being yourself. And so you try to control things, right? Once you try to know yourself, you try to learn yourself. You try to control things. And, and by doing that, you actually do the opposite. You actually end up losing yourself in order to try to find yourself. Right, because that's the whole experience. We literally made ourselves lose ourselves in order to find ourselves. Okay, and so that's what you do when you when you try to know yourself. You try to learn yourself. For me, it's an infinite regress until you realize, because it's a realization that you've always been whole. You've always been whole. There was never a, a, a destination. There was never a goal. There was never a mastery. There was never knowing anything. There was always just being. And so. It's a funny thing. This perfection that we we've perfections, right? Everything has always been perfect, you know. It's always been perfect, but we've created these illusions that it hasn't. We we're trying to reach perfection. We need to reach perfection. If I get this, if I learn this about myself, if I get here, if all these other aspects of myself just just agree or or perceive me as this, then I've made it. I've made it. You know, when we was kids, we never. We never, it was never about goals. It was never about being anything. It was never about you or this. We never needed astrology to figure out if we were compatible. It was never about, oh, compatibility, you know? It was just, it was just pure beingness, right? We was just kids and we was just being in the moment. And it was never about, well, I wonder if this person's color of this person's personality will fit mine. But the moment that we started to learn, we started to learn, we started to think, right? It was learning, it was thinking, it was it was trying, it was um it was fulfillment. The moment that we started to perceive for fulfillment, our parents, right? They put fulfillment into our minds. It was goals they put into our minds. It was um perfection. It was mastery. Once we started to, to to perceive mastery, fulfillment, then we started to separate. We started to separate, and and I became separate from you. You became separate from me. Then it needed to be a compatibility. It needed to be goals. It needed to be wait. And you are you right for me? Am I right for you? I don't think we resonate anymore. It was you know. It was these, all these illusions of separation. And then it took fulfillment that was in the present moment that never needed to, it never needed to be a fulfillment because fulfillment was just present. It was present moment. It was this pure present moment. That was always the fulfillment. Fulfillment. Accomplishments, learning, knowing. It took away the beingness, the present moment. The present moment is present moment because it's, it's a gift. It's a gift to be present. Mm. 
it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deep thing, you know, it's a deep thing. But it's it's not. It's it's just is, right? You see how it's separated and contracted. You feel me? This is what we do. This is the amazing experience. Even if you do that, even if you get stuck in this infinite loop, that is all that you can be. You know, it's it's just what it is, and there's no right or wrong, good or bad. That's the worst. It's just pure beingness. You know. Eternal. We're rushing to get here. We're rushing to get there, but it's eternal. <laughs> it's eternal. Like when you really embrace the fact that it's eternal. You're eternal. I'm eternal. There's no there. There's no then. There's just now. There's no process. There's no I'm trying to stop doing this. There's no you know I'm doing this. There's no I do. There's no like I eat, I eat this. There's no I smoke this. There's no, there's no any of those things until you experience them, those things. And then there's only I'm eating, and there's I'm doing. You know, there's just that moment. You know, it's just this right here. You know. But it's a beauty in creating these separations and, and these different selves. It's, it's parallel realities, literally. Because every moment is, is, is not outside of any other moment, but we can create these parallel realities in which we keep, we set our consciousness on, on saying, well, I'm, I'm trying to stop eating this, or, you know, I'm trying to let go of doing this, but we don't realize, you know, what we did was, was told consciousness. We told consciousness to stay in a loop, you know, to stay in a loop, to be like, because when you said I'm eating this, are you saying is that you're going to keep repeating this, you feel me? Well, I'm trying to stop doing this. You're telling yourself that you're going to literally stay in a loop of doing something that you don't want to do, you know? And and um, when you really realize and, and, and you become aware of that everything exists in the present moment, there's no outside of the present moment then everything becomes doable because there's just doing, there's just being, there's no planning, right? There's no planning. Unless you want it to be because you have the ability, it's magic, it's literally magical. You get to create these illusions and experience these things. And your mind actually creates these and, you, and you've been reality, right? Consciousness bends reality. Consciousness bends consciousness and brings about another experience of consciousness that's the past, the present, and the future. And we all agree. We all we all agree to collectively experience these these timelines of, of the present moment, right? These illusions within the present, within the beingness. We all get to agree to create this experience. And now we're getting to the point. Now we're, we're we're at the point because there's no getting. There's just now. Now we're tuned in into the the, the reality of, of where we're like. Let's just be what we want to experience. And then there's no more wanting to experience that. You want peace. You you be peace. You be peace, and and you have peace. I be peace, and you realize that all you do is be peace, that you don't look for peace, that you don't plan out peace, that you don't get a government, you don't get, you don't get, um, uh, set out plans and say, guys, okay, we're going to get peace in 2020, we're going to get peace, we're going to have peace, no, you be peace now, and when I realize that it's, it's peace in the present moment, and you realize that it's peace in the present moment, we all collectively realize that it's nothing but peace in the present moment, unless we collectively want to experience something else other than peace then we keep recreating those same realities those same perspectives those same illusions but we never really reach it until we be it and so it's an amazing thing but um I appreciate your reflection for tuning in to another aspect of yourself in the present moment. You keep enjoying the now 